Hey everybody, Tom's here and I want to introduce you all to one of my latest projects, the Pyrite Mini ATX PSU, inspired by the folks over at the Low Power Labs. I built a Mini ATX PSU to perform controlled boots and shutdowns of my Raspberry Pi. What makes this product different from other boards that do the same thing is this. The board's physical footprint conforms to the Raspberry Pi Foundation's hat specification. I like building all my boards to this specification because it produces solid stacked systems like the one shown here. Stack systems are physically and electrically more robust. Notice another one of my boards underneath the ATX PSU, right here. This board powers the Raspberry Pi using a common off-the-shelf desktop P ATX power supply. One can find these supplies for around $15 to $25. Because I'm using an ATX power supply, I get lots of power at different voltages for my various projects. I use primarily 5 and 12 volt DC for my model railroad projects. The board itself has a small prototyping area with access to all the ATX voltages, 3.3 volts, 5 volts, 12 volts, and minus 12 volt DC. Last but not least, this board supplies 5 and 12 volt DC via screw terminals. So let's put this board through its paces. Pushing the power button turns on the ATX power supply and powers up the Raspberry Pi. The power indicator blinks slowly to indicate that the Pi is booting up. Once the Pi boots up, the power indi indicator goes steady on. Depressing the power button for between one half and two seconds forces the Pi to reboot. And notice how it just fades slowly, pulsating slowly, to indicate that the Pi is booting down, shutting down, and then rebooting. And we're just going to wait for it to shut, uh, turn back on, and there we go. Depressing the button for between 2 seconds and 10 seconds will shut down the Pi in a controlled manner before shutting off power. And the Pi is now turned off. So let's start the Pi up again. Wait for the boot OK light to come on green. And so finally depressing the power button for over 10 seconds forces the Pi into a hard uncontrolled shutdown before shutting off power. So let's give that a try. Well, that's it in a nutshell. Thanks for watching.